part five. Okay, so part five will be setting up the renders and setting up the uh, the look of it. Okay, and then we're gonna render with ambient occlusion. All right. So uh, firstly, we're gonna set up the plane, get the ground, of course. So go to here and create a plane like this. All right. And after that, um, if we're stopping the Four just like that, and then it's gonna give us a very strong cut okay at the back of the house. So which it doesn't look good. Okay. So this is what I normally do. So uh, convert to add full poly and click on H number two, double click the H, and then shift and pull it up. Like that. Okay, and then after that, double click on this, click chamfer. To make it smooth and round. Now after that, I'm just gonna scale this and make it bigger. Okay, that's it for that. And then secondly, we're gonna apply this whole thing with white color. Okay, and set with like, black number F4, so we can see all the stuff. Okay, so the next thing is because this is not this is not round and smooth, so that gives us a bit of problem. To go back to here, uh, vertex, select all of it. Okay, and then hit right click and make it to smooth. Uh, sorry, corner B0. Anyways, uh, it doesn't matter, like uh, we go to here and then we can see apply to the smooth. And make it smooth. Doesn't matter. Okay, then same goes to this, add a shell. For, for the mirror, you can add to this one. Okay, uh, but just that it doesn't cover the whole thing. I think we have to um, use a push modifier on top of it. And then go to edit poly and select the whole thing and push it backwards just a bit. Okay, we can switch to screen, so we can move from here. Okay, not enough yet. Let's pull it over. Okay, there's a bit of hole in between. Okay, because the whole thing has a thickness and then the glass is inside there. And then there's this uh, call uh, the brain. I think we should we shouldn't be moving that backwards, but instead we should be moving this out. Okay, so uh, back to here, select all the stuff and show. Okay, that's better. All right, quick one. So, uh, yep, almost done. So, finally, uh, we're gonna add the skylight. Okay, so we put the skylight in our scene, and under the skylight settings, we have to click cast shadow. Okay, then we go to here and let's click save. Okay, so mushroom house number two. All right, and then go to render settings, and well, let's render with scanline. And then probably we can render it up to 720, okay, 1250, 720, so 20 HD. And um, over here we can click like Catmull Room to have a better shot per pixel. Let's go to here and click render. So I'm going to pause the video for a while and we're going to get back soon. And sorry that I forgot to tweak this, okay? Because we don't really get to see the the bottom part of it, okay? So I'm selecting the whole thing, and then I'm gonna add a, a table smooth on top of that. I'm gonna select all stuff, and I'm gonna apply this like FFD, FFD four by four. Okay, then we can go to control points and select these, and kind of like move it up. 
Okay, so we can see a bit of that detail. Right, we, can, we can kind of like flick around. And right, we can move this to up slightly. Right, let's see what we got for the finals. Okay, uh, not enough yet. I want to see more of it. Maybe just just two points. Let's let's move it up. Okay, that's nice. All right, and then I'm gonna pause for, for the render. I think that the edge looks a bit sharp at the moment. Uh, go back to here. It does look quite sharp. Okay, but uh, never mind. We can go to um, edit poly. Okay, and then under here we have like paint deformation. Okay, we can speed up this. No problem at all. Well, let's reduce the brush size just a bit. And we can scoop it up. Okay. Chill, cool. Alright. Okay, we're done. Alright, so I'm gonna start the render and I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, uh, that's done. And then I actually added the adjustment uh, onto the door frame. Okay. And uh, lowering down uh, the house so that it sticks uh, perfectly with the ground, and then actually tweak a bit of the position of rocks so that it's not so much uh, obvious. Okay, and uh, hopefully, you guys uh, learned something today. And then, um, thanks for watching. And then, if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, you can always leave it down here and then I'll try my best to reply and uh, to, to solve your questions and problems. Alright, thanks, thanks for watching.